afternoon everybody and welcome back to your girl's channel i am super soft spoken right now because i am clearly doing my introduction in the store i never do that you guys that's so wild so we are starting off in walmart this morning all right because as you guys can tell you're so freaking tall i, I was trying to go like this i gotta so lean like, the camera like this to get both so of I'm our faces go like i'll go like this so basically as you all can tell by the title and the thumbnail and me being in the store girl we're gonna do a hygiene shopping vlog today my two favorite things talk and ramble a lot and go hygiene shopping and smelling good okay so we are combining them babe we're good we are going to do a hygiene shopping vlog so I don't want to do too much rambling because girl I'm clearly in the store So we're gonna go ahead and start off the video and start off the day with some hygiene shopping now I already picked up a couple things cuz uh basically How did that get in my cart? I ain't even buy that. How'd that get in my cart? Wait, what? The baby lotion. You put that in there. Wait, I thought you had bought this. I ain't get this. I have one of these at the house. Oh my goodness. I've been using it daily. I'm gonna run it back. Mm, you can put it somewhere random. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna just put it back where I, was, where I originally got it. Yeah, yeah. well that's what we doing. <laughs> you ain't right boy anyway so like i was saying we just got out of the baby section y'all first of all hold on because i'm getting into purses because my mom's been buying me purses so i bought some purse jewelry y'all off of amazon i'm gonna go ahead and put up this keychain on my amazon storefront but it is so cute on my purse you guys it just gives like a little extra razzle dazzle but i went to the um baby section and i picked up two different um baby washes for my feminine area so i've actually never tried this pipette baby shampoo and wash but it looks so cool and it was literally like seven dollars and something whereas my holy grail favorite is ten dollars this CeraVe wash and shampoo is pretty pricey it's like 10 bucks you guys but it works so well to keep everything non-irritated and keep everything balanced and smelling fresh downstairs but I love to try other things and review them for you guys so I've already picked up two baby washes I strictly use baby washes for my downstairs area only because I know those to work the best for me and not irritate me but but enough of that girl let's hop into the rest of the hygiene shopping i am here specifically for a lot of hair care and then you know somebody care but my hair is freshly cut so i'm really excited to get back into my hair care i know you are she's been telling me every single day for like the past week i'm so happy to get back into hair care and all this other stuff i have been you are so excited i could tell too i've been telling him like literally every single day that i'm so excited to get back into my hair care because i Definitely. love healthy hair and I got a new cut, so it's like a brand new fresh start, and I just want to buy so many cool new hair care products. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, baby, for on the camera. I got my cameraman. I got my personality. Yes. Girl, we ready to go. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. Amen. Amen. Okay, girl, so first things first, I don't think I'm going to grab too much in this section. I usually never do, but I have been wanting to use this Shea Moisture um, Daily Hydration Body Wash again because my mom was just telling me how much she actually enjoys this. She said I bought her one and she just finally got to it. So I'm going to grab myself one and I'm also going to go ahead and grab her another one because we got to look out for our mamas, okay? Not to mention, actually I didn't record this. You guys have the right to be mad at me. We went to TJ Maxx this morning and I bought two perfumes to go ahead and spray test out and review and I also went ahead and grabbed her the gray and white cardigan that I bought in my recent video because she said she didn't see one for herself so I went to another TJ Maxx and I bought her one today so treating our mama I got her body wash and I got her a nice little cardigan okay oh they got some you bath go, bombs girl. you go girl too <laughs> Make sure y'all are treating y'all mamas and make sure we are trying our best to respect and honor our parents. That's right. Now, this right here is $8.98. I'm not going to get it, but does that not look so cool? It actually really does look cool. Just because I've seen you do like so much with avocados lately, it's oh, so yeah. cool to me. I've been making so much guacamole and so much like Mexican style food, so I put guac on top of it. So anyway girl i also seriously seriously enjoy dr bronner's organic sugar soap these are absolutely amazing you guys they get so soapy y'all i had to go ahead and get about that dang section because i have to remember that we do not fight against flesh and blood so when like people are annoying me it's not the person we are fighting spiritually okay it's a battle every single day so 
back to what I was saying, we got one nice body wash out of that section. Now, if you are a loyal subscriber, then you know recently I bought three brand new perfume oils from Etsy. Like, out of my favorite fragrances, I got Bright Crystal by Versace, I got Alien by Terry Mugler, and Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, three of my top favorite fragrances. But I need a fragrance-free lotion to mix those fragrance oils in so it can become like a lotion in that fragrance. So I gotta go ahead and look for a good unscented lotion that hopefully they carry here. Like I don't even know anything about unscented lotion because girl, I'm very scented and fragranced. <laughs> so let's see, let's see. I gotta look for things that look like they would be fragrance-free. Okay, fragrance-free. Chirel, itch defense, fragrance-free. That looks pretty dope. Okay, it's a pretty decent price. So I think that would be a good lotion, don't you think? Oh, gold. Gold bond. I love gold bond now. So they got a fragrance free gold bond. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this one. I trust gold bond. So we're gonna grab this bottle. It is fragrance free. It is a healing hydration lotion. So we got that. I feel like gold bond is low-key underrated or am I tripping? Maybe you're tripping because okay. with all them dang shack commercials, I think people know. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? anti-blemish vitamin c and bha clearing body serum okay so actually i recently broke out like crazy on my chest like really bad and it's finally starting to heal because i've been exfoliating it more and i've been using some neutrogena like stubborn acne stuff on it that's meant for the face but it works for my body acne but i would also love to try maybe some other things that i'll be more consistent with because they look better so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this anti-blemish um clearing body serum because what if this really does clear my body acne that would be super dope or keep it away i think that would be amazing I'm gonna Go ahead and grab that. Let me see what it smells like. Yeah, you probably should do that. Mm. Really? It smells good. I feel like I'm smelling oranges. Maybe not. Because it I'm looks definitely... like it'd be like a pumpkin smell. Too. No, not pumpkin. No, not at mm -mm. all. Can I smell? It definitely smells citrusy. Here, you smell it. Oh, that is good. I like yeah, that. it's very light. So I kind of at first was like, what am I smelling? But I'm smelling citrus. I'm smelling citrus, yeah. like a tangerine orange. Uh, <gasps> what the? Are you seeing something? Are you seeing something that I'm seeing? Yeah, that. Yes, I was literally seeing that. We saw Rihanna, that Rihanna Rebel Floor. This was the fragrance I wore yesterday, the actual perfume, though, and you kept talking about how good I smelled. Yes, I did. Because it smells so nice. It's so strong. I'm about to go on a uh, freaking fragrance net right now and go buy a new bottle. Fragrancenet.com. I'm not playing. Earth. It's cheap on there. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> one of my top favorite fragrances, I wore it yesterday and I was smelling extremely strong, but this is the body spray of it, is the Rihanna Rebel Floor. When I tell y'all this perfume is so bad, it's bad to the bone, baby. I'm about to go on fragrance net tonight and get me a new bottle. <laughs> because I was smelling powerful yesterday. Mm -hmm. You were. Now, is that the biggest bottle that there is or is there a bigger one? The perfume that I had yesterday? Yeah. That's the biggest bottle. Okay, I was about to say, if that's the small one... That's not the small one. That's the big bottle. That would be wild if they had bigger bottles than that's that. That's what I'm saying. Bliss came out with lotion. Look how cute these lotions are, babe. Oh my gosh. Now, the old me would have bought every single one of them just because like I'm super obsessed with having a lot of products but I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this one um which is the almond milk and vanilla and then I'm also gonna go ahead and grab this one but don't tell nobody I told you don't tell nobody I didn't I, I didn't even you. show it <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and also grab this skin smoothing body butter because it's for rough, bumpy skin and KP. So, Keratosis pilaris, which is like the little bumps that you get on your arms and stuff like that. So, this has AHA and squalene in it to defeat it. I just learned something new. You saying that, I didn't even know what that was. Yes! Look at these lotions. These look so dope. I cannot wait to go ahead and add these to my collection. Any other lo- Jurgens has a new deep conditioning um, butter blend. Why am I getting obsessed? I'm about to start grabbing heck of lotions. I'm not playing with you. Girl, this is a hygiene shopping vlog, so you gotta right? get what you wanna get. Why do they not have the Nivea cocoa butter lotion? They changed the packaging, it's in gold now. So this Nivea cocoa butter lotion smells amazing. It's extremely moisturizing and hydrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I love how that smells on my skin. And then I'm not gonna buy that Jergens one because I already have four lotions. That's too much, girl, that's too much. I think we are walking into the hair care. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yes! <laughs> Let's get into <laughs> it. Hey. Okay, so this aisle is a little loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these products super fast, and then I'll show you guys all of them later on and go through each one. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some of this, ooh, and some of that. What's that? Girl, this is cute. I'm gonna get that too. 
This is my fave healing leave-in conditioner by Kim Kimball. That's my fave. Ooh, movie set mousse. I love Kim Kimball's hairline, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Ooh, since when did they come out? I'm getting another lotion. <laughs> My top favorite creamy oil. I love this Johnson's baby creamy oil in the scent aloe and vitamin E. It's so strong. It smells so amazing. And they have the lotion in it. Look, you don't need to let anybody know how much lotion you get. Don't tell them that I got That's this one then. Okay. Okay. Let's blur it out. Okay. Let's get it. Let's do that. All right, let's go. All right, we're good. Ooh, I need some flushable wipes. Flushable wipes always come in handy. I usually get mine off of Amazon because I feel like they're cheaper on there. But it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and just grab this pack of Cottonelle flushable wipes. So I love to get the Cottonelle ones only because I know that they are the most safe for my toilet. But the most affordable version is going to be the Walmart flushable wipes. These work absolutely amazing. Personally, I haven't had any problems with the Walmart flushable wipes. Um, they have the fragrance free ones and they also have the regular ones. But these cotton nail ones, y'all, I just feel more safe mentally using these because I know one day I'm going to want to buy a house and I don't want like any clogging issues or anything of the sort. So might as well get used to it now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these cotton nail flushable wipes. Got to have those. Got to stay fresh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Look at this terrible junk, y'all. They got freaking rosé all day, freaking uh, coconut hibiscus, cucumber magnolia. That All of this stuff, girl, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. It's so deceiving, girl. It's so deceiving. Hey, you're smelling all kind of wild ways. Ooh, it's more hair care. And I think there's more down there, too. Oh, my gosh, dude. I feel like it might as well just be like a hair care shopping vlog because, girl, at this point, what do they have? Okay, so I'm not sure how good this stuff is for your hair, but I did used to use this curl sculpt um, conditioning cream gel in my hair when I was younger, and I used to love the smell of it and just love how it works. So I want to grab this again. Maybe I still like it. I'm not really sure. My hair has changed a lot since I was younger, so we'll just have to see. They got some reviving water, curl refresher. What does it smell like? Oh, Garnier always smells good. Oh, girl, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, smell that. Some like coconuts and nice spring water. Mmm. Mm. I need that for the hair. What else they got? I need to calm down. That's what I need to do. I need to stop buying all of this and stuff, but I am. It is totally my mistake for never really looking into their body sprays that they have here, y'all. But they have some pretty dope body sprays. First of all, Ra Ra Rouge by Juicy Couture smells so amazing, you guys. I actually have that on today, so perfect. We're going to go ahead and get the matching body spray. Um, and then this is like the original Juicy Couture fragrance. It can be a little bit too old lady-ish for some people, but I personally love this fragrance. I just sprayed it on my wrist and I really do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this with the real perfume that I have back at the house. I keep looking at you and not the camera, but hey <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. And then I also kind of want to go ahead and grab this Glow by JLo because honestly, this is a spoiler. But earlier, this is the perfume that I grabbed from TJ Maxx. Not the body spray, but the actual perfume. And it smells pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the body spray as well and layer them. So at least now I know that that um, perfume does smell good and it wasn't a waste of money. And I think I'm pretty good on the rest of the body sprays. I will say that Black by Kenneth Cole smells pretty good. Um, Gold Rush by Paris Hilton smells pretty good. Um, this Paris Hilton one and this Can Can one smells pretty good. Um, this Paris Hilton Eris smells pretty good as well. I used to buy all of these from Burlington, so that's how I know. But I never tried the other ones. Let me smell this Lucky You. That's not a Lucky You. <laughs> Maybe. Take a little bit to kick in. Yeah, I think so. Actually, that's not bad. That actually smells pretty darn good, but I think we're tacking up a bill here, so. I'm gonna leave that here, maybe come get it next time. And just know that thing was already yeah. sprayed. People have already been spraying that as a tester, so. Even the presentation is cute. Look at this new Queen V bubble bath. So this is a pH balance bubble bath for us women to go ahead and use when we wanna go ahead and bathe. Now. Y'all know I basically use like any bubble bath. My favorite is the Mr. Bubbles fragrance free, but it is nice to always go ahead and try some new girly products that may have came out that are women owned or that are more safe for the downstairs area. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that bubble bath. And now we're gonna go ahead and head to the oral hygiene section. So I can go ahead and grab my favorite mouthwash and um, toothpaste. And then we'll go to the soap section. And girl, we are out of here because we got too much stuff. Okay, we doing too much. This is my fave toothpaste. Oh, I also grabbed a deodorant. It was on sale for like a dollar off. It's the new 72 hour motion sense, but in the scent Cool Rush. I'm not really sure what it smells like. Actually, I probably, sh probably should have smelled it first, but I will show you how to go ahead and smell it without having to pull up this cap. Oh, well the cap came up pretty easy. It came right off. Well, 
it usually doesn't do that that smells amazing but if you do not want to take off the cap that way just go ahead and roll it up and it's going to be super easy to take it out just roll it up and the cap pops right out gotta go ahead and always grab my smart mouth this is the best mouthwash in the world and i'm almost out i gotta go ahead and grab a new bottle now let's go to the soap grab a couple of soaps and let's get out of here this was all I could find in the um, soap section, which is perfect because I have so much soap back at the house, but I picked up this coconut butter scrub, which y'all know how I feel about this. I just went through my last bottle and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Dove Bar Soap in the scent, well, in the gentle exfoliating. I've been going through Dove Bar Soap like crazy. I go through like two bars a freaking week, so. When I was young, I went to like one bar in like a month. Really? Yes. Well, my exfoliating gloves kind of like disintegrated real fast, oh. so. There's literally no scanning thing on here, but it's gonna go in the pile. These are the things I chose not to get, not the kaleidoscope, the wipes, the serum, this lotion, and then the other bliss lotion. But the total came up to 253. Girl, that's a lot in itself, okay? Ooh, I should've definitely double bagged these bags because they're kind of breaking a little bit. But y'all, when I tell you I am so excited because I just ran into one of my subscribers and I love when you guys come up to me and speak to me. Whew. Of course, I run into one of my subscribers and I haven't even showered today. I still smell good though. I'm gonna go home and shower after I get done doing my oil treatment to my hair or whatever, but I am so excited because I just ran into one of, one of my subscribers and she was deaf. And I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but Jordan's mom is deaf. So he's very fluent in sign language. So he was able to interpret and, and, and hold down the whole entire conversation. When I tell you, that was one of the best interactions I've ever had in my whole entire life. And thank you so much for interpreting oh, yeah. for me. Yeah, of course. That was really cool on my part as well. I really should have just took in the moment a lot more, but I was so excited. I'm just like, yes! <laughs> like, I was just so excited to meet her. And the fact that you guys were able to sign back and forth, that was absolutely amazing. Like, I'm sweating. I'm so excited. Um, I got so many cool hygiene products. But I also wanted to go ahead and give a big thanks to YouTube because they put our, our couple's sign language video up for sign language day and it was the top video on the list and they reached out and we gave them permission to go ahead and use our video and it was just it was just super cool so that was an amazing experience and i'm just i'm so happy that i got to experience it yeah you don't you don't see that often at all you like know. and i knew that she was deaf the way that she came up and said like hello and i off rip i already knew that she must she must watch you mm -hmm. because at first i was like do you know my mom? And then she was like, no, I watch uh, you on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, do you know my mom? Just because sometimes people like will notice and like see and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I think that's really cool that, that she, really that she knows cool. you and, like, and watches. That's so cool. That makes me want to get so much better at my sign language because I literally couldn't do it. Hey. <laughs> so bad, like I literally couldn't do it. Hey, well, yeah, that's this is the perfect opportunity to get back into it. Now. I know, absolutely. Hey, if you want to, let me know. I'm letting you know right now. So what's up? And we got to use that sign language book that one of my subbies sent me so we can go mm -hmm. ahead and I, so I can go ahead and learn a little bit more. <laughs> okay, girl. It's also very attractive, um, you're doing your little sign language. Say what you want, girl. but that was attractive. Okay. <laughs> but I did want to go ahead and go over those hair care products that I bought because as you guys could tell, somebody was on the phone and they were like yelling back and forth. Girl, I ain't got no problem with it. I'm just trying to film, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hurry it up, but I ain't got no problem with somebody being their self and being bold and confident in who they are. People can say it's rude, I say to an extent, but I also say she's in her own lane. She's not bothering anybody, she's not harming anybody. She's just a loud spoken person and that's just what it is. So I ain't got a problem with it. I just wanted to go ahead and get it out the way. So, first of all, I have this Shea Moisture um, Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Leave-In Treatment. Now, now, I love Shea Moisture's coconut oil line because their coconut oil smell is so different than anybody else's coconut oil smell and it smells so good. That's why I also bought the um, body wash. Oh my gosh, when I tell y'all, 
cannot wait to go ahead and use this now I love to use the leave-in treatments for an extra boost of scent in my hair so I put it in before I put in my curly cream and I also love to use them to re-wet my scalp like I have like a little bit of gel in so I've been doing this hairstyle for the past three days so to wet the gel I put like some kind of leave-in conditioner in and then I'll put the gel on top of it I also got this Garnier fruit teas curl sculpt conditioning cream gel can I wait to go ahead and try that out it's a very different kind of texture but it's definitely on the more jelly side it's just like a creamier jelly kind of hair product and it does harden so I probably use it in like my ponytails and then I also bought the curl refresher spray because this junk smells so amazing you guys heard me talking about this in the store and we both smelled it ah it smells like coconut and just greatness it's very similar to Aussie their coconut smell oh everything falling I am also an extreme fan of Kim Kimball she's a celebrity hairstylist her curly hair products you guys that's my ring notification so I went ahead and bought the movie set mousse because mousses always come in handy just to go ahead and like refresh your curls or refresh your ponytail her hair care products are so good and I would have never known had I not bought this um, healing leave-in conditioner by Kim Kimball this is literally my top favorite curly hair product at the moment as well as the Olaplex Bomb Smoother. This defines my curls so well. It makes my hair smell super good. It's super moisturizing but the best part about it is that I don't like super thick products for my hair because they don't distribute very easily and they also weigh my hair down. So this is a more on the watery side curling cream. It distributes so well and it's very moisturizing. So I love this. It's the perfect texture, consistency, moisturization -y. It's great. I'm getting obsessed with hair care again, girl. I'm actually headed home right now to literally go and do a oil treatment in my hair. You guys know how many oil treatments I used to do back in the day before I cut my hair the first time. So I'm gonna go home and do an oil treatment. I wanna at least do an oil treatment like once a week or once every two weeks. I don't wanna overdo it because you can over oil your scalp to the point where your hair gets used to it and now your scalp is even drier than before. So it's kind of like defeating the purpose in the way and that kind of happens to me. So just be careful with over oiling your scalp because girl, I need that. So an oil treatment like once every two weeks or once a week is great. Now overnight, sis, we ain't doing that no more only because it's just too much of a hassle for me. I used to have a patience for it. Plus, I just feel like a couple hours is just fine for an oil treatment. And then I also went ahead and grabbed this. I'm pretty sure this is like the last hair care product. Let me check. Okay, no, it's second to last. So this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Stronghold Styling Gel. And I love to use these kind of gels for just styles like this super simple easy style and just to also go ahead and scrunch it into my curls when I am wearing my hair down come on shut up ring and then last but not least I have this madam by madam CJ Walker detangling leave-in conditioner I thought the packaging was super cute let me go ahead and smell it because girl the smell got to be popping okay it's like play-doh but what if it's good for the hair so it's kind of like what do we do girl let's go home and get this dang oil treatment done I've also been oiling his scalp at least one to two times a week or whatever because I've noticed that he has some dandruff going on, so I want to go. You ain't supposed to say that. I ain't supposed to say that, so he got lights going on, so. Whoa! <laughs> I'll be getting a neighbor Jesus. I don't yeah. want that to happen. Oh, he ain't got nothing. His scalp perfectly fine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I gotta start taking care of his scalp and his hair way more. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You've been getting me right. My, like, my head's been feeling like extra refreshed and stuff, too. Good to hear. I like mm -hmm. that. Since I'm getting obsessed with hair care again, I'm kind of getting obsessed with his hair care as well. So I want to do his retwist a lot more often. It just takes like three, four hours every single time I do it. And then we got to leave it in and blow dry it and stuff like that. I got to go ahead and invest into some better equipment. But I'm also getting obsessed with keeping up with his hair and stuff like that. So girl, we getting into the hair care again. That's why I like how I just have vlogs because I be rambling. Hey, you get to talk as much as you want to. Facts, and I also get to buy a bunch of hygiene products, which I'm super obsessed with. Y'all know I have a hygiene product for just about everything, okay? <laughs> boy, what you want? Girl, I wanna come in here and see what you doing. Oh my gosh, this boy's so dang nosy. What you up to, girl? I put on a shirt that I don't really care about, so if I get oil on it, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But I know y'all see this dang laundry in the background. When I tell y'all this dang laundry is standing up to here, I'm not playing. This laundry is up to here. It ain't that much. You playing with me right now. Then do it. What? Then do it. You do all that laundry. 
I didn't say I was going to do that. I just mm -hmm. said it's not that much. I don't want nobody washing my underclothing anyway. <laughs> girls, no girls. No, anybody trying to have people washing up on their underwear and their bras and stuff. Anybody got time for that? But anyway, girl, I got so much laundry to do. I'm trying to get it like all done today. But before I get started, I got to go ahead and do this oil treatment. So I'm probably going to have the oil in my hair for about one and a half to two hours. Just to go ahead and make sure it's settling in there. Yes, ma'am. So oil of choice is going to be the Sky Organics Organic Jamaican Black black castor oil on the bottom it actually talks about how you can do an oil treatment it says 30 minutes but i say a little longer okay i say about two hours 30 minutes is good though 30 minutes is good if you're in a rush but girl i got time today so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and leave it in there for about two hours and then once i have it in my hair i'm gonna go ahead and get started on the laundry and then i'm gonna go ahead and get like the cooking done dang go ahead and get the cooking done i have to go ahead and take my probiotics because i forgot to go ahead and take the those today and then I guess before I hop in the shower I'll go ahead and pick out my products that I'm gonna go ahead and be smelling good with today and I also forgot to go ahead and smell the dang fragrances that I bought from TJ Maxx so girl we got things to do we got things to do uh, you got so much beautiful hair girl thank you not so much because girl we cut it but it's still like a lot yeah it is still a lot of hair I literally have not done an oil treatment in so freaking long so I'm like kind of nervous like I don't even know what to do how do I do this <laughs> I used to do one like all the time like it was bad Really? You used to do it that much? Like, so much. To the point where it, like, wasn't really good. <laughs> but I genuinely felt like I was doing good for my hair, though. I genuinely felt like I was... Like, I think I used to leave it in for, like, three days. Three days? Don't worry about it, homeboy. So I'm clipping up my hair on this side. I have these. Also, I'll go ahead and put this up on my Amazon storefront. Did I already say that? Putting oh this God. oil up on my Amazon storefront. So I got this off of Amazon. It is the black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. It's really good for the hair and moisturize and do treatments. And just to go ahead and, like, add a little bit of moisture at times. Take my rings out. But I'm using these... Super cool hair clips. You can find these on Amazon as well. Super easy, super cool. I bought mine on Amazon, so I have to go ahead and find that and put that up on my Amazon storefront as well. But jewelry coming off, baby, because they be getting stuck in the hair now. So I'm pretty sure I used to just section it off in two, but I feel like I should do it a little bit better than that. But like, this is all gelled down. So like, what the heck do I do? Dude, I'm learning new things. I want to see you do it. This is giving like... I don't know vibes. Dang, this oil is thick. When I tell y'all I have not been taking care of my hair like that, I have not been taking care of my hair like that. And I only wash and condition with Olaplex. I love my other shampoos and conditioners as well, like Aussie and stuff like that. But as of right now, I'm really trying to get it as um, healthy as possible. So I'm only using Olaplex and then I want to start doing my oil treatments. But when I tell y'all I have not been taking care of my hair, so I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Like I used to do so much better at this and I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I don't either, but it looks cool. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Hey, you've been taking care of my hair though, and I thank you for that. Yeah, I try. I gotta do more with his hair and learn more ways to take care of it as well, but you know, trying. I let this sit in there for about two hours. When I tell y'all, I do not know what I'm doing. This is wild. I, I need to go back and watch my old videos to see how I used to do it. Because I was like good into my hair care, honey, but I just been so basic with my hair care and not really taking care of it. But ever since I got it cut, I just been so motivated to take care of it. Like, seriously. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Please don't do nothing. Why am I using this dang dark oil? Knowing dang well I have a white rug underneath me. I remember always saying like this oil to me smells like cigarettes. Ugh. Like smell it. Smell like cigs a little bit. Let me smell it. I don't want to smell it again. Because I don't like, like I smell like I just got back from your Paw Paw house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whenever you actually shook it in my face, that actually did. It smell like six. Like it. it actually did. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, don't lie then. Don't exactly lie. That's what my dad smell like. <gasps> your dad really smells like cigarettes? Yeah. Don't come for him. Don't talk with him. That's my friend. I'm just playing. <laughs> Bo. Bo. Joy? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going on back here? What? I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm acting like. I'm at, okay. Confidence. Like you always tell me. Confidence. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and split your hair in a 3.4 magnitude of the decimeter. De denominator. Denominator. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I think I used the wrong oil because this junk really? is thick. Because I used to like mix oils. I used to put like grapeseed oil, olive oil. I was in a store one time. And of course like folks don't really know about the oils and stuff that works good for your hair. So I was in a store one time with a couple people and I was like, yeah, olive oil is so good for your hair. And the girl was like, olive oil? Oh and my God. How is like olive oil good for your hair? I was like. Ain't gotta explain it. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm oh not doing this with you tonight. I'm not doing this with you, Rebecca. <laughs> Let me stop. If you know, you know. Thanks. 
I'm gonna drench my hair because I want it to be real shiny. So before what? You said you mixed them. Mixing them didn't make them like thicker or something? It makes it like thinner because this is like one of the thickest oils. Castor oil is known mm. for being super thick. But I like the Jamaican black castor oil because I just feel like it's better for the hair than just regular castor oil. Mm. But this stuff as well, I don't really want my hair to grow back too fast this time because I love the length of it and I love it being short and I just really enjoy shorter hair better. So the only thing with putting it on my scalp is that it's definitely gonna make my hair grow faster. So I'll probably have to get another cut. Mm -hmm. But it's just, in the research that I've done, it's just better for the hair. You can even read the bottle. It has a couple things on there that will tell you what it does for the hair. I'm trying to get it all on the scalp though. So that my new growth is healthy and everything. Which of course new growth would be healthy period. But. Y'all, that dang light was way too bright. I had to go ahead and unscrew it because it was literally like bleaching my skin. But anyways, we are working on the other side right now. And when I tell y'all I love my curly hair, like I love it. And like, I don't need any confirmation, but I have a new lash tech. And the first time that she's seen me, um, I had straight hair, which was recently. So I have a new one. So she seen my hair straight. And then I came in this recent time and she was like, oh, wait a minute, that's your natural hair? I was like, girl, yeah, that's my natural hair. She was like, okay, like, I like that better. She's like, I'm not sure if that was like offensive or anything, but I love your hair curly like way better. I was like, girl, me too. Like we are on the same page, girl. I feel you. Dang, it's seriously bleaching up my dang whole existence. But anyways. I love your hair curly too. I love my hair curly. Like growing up, no matter who I was around, I loved my curly hair. Now don't get me wrong. My hair wasn't always like super curly, but I always loved that my hair was, my hair was textured. So I didn't really have like a problem loving my hair growing up. I think my problem growing up was like accepting that I was extremely bright white uh bright 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 mm-hmm because i didn't really want that like and i'll tell you this and i'm gonna tell you why i didn't i don't have an issue with my skin color now you guys but i did not want to look like my dad's side of the family i literally cannot stand those people when i tell y'all like i don't hate them but i literally cannot stand them they are not my cup of tea they are not anything that i would hang around they are nothing that i would like associate myself with um so i literally like could not stand that i was the whitest looking kid out of all my mom's kids so one time, one of my siblings was doing my hair and um, her grandma, cause I don't call her my grandma, that ain't got nothing to do with me, but her grandma came in the room. So she's doing my hair and she was like, yeah girl, you got this white girl here. And I was like, no I don't. And I had an attitude. And my dad's mom, which is her grandma, she was like, what's the problem with that? Blah, 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 you're half white, this and this and that. I was like, okay, but I'm not full white. So I mixed, so I have mixed hair. That shut her up real quick. I mean, I didn't really have mixed hair, but it shut her up. <laughs> so I was just super excited when my curls came in. So when my curls came in, I got into hair care. Like I couldn't obviously afford like any expensive products, but I would like get the little cheap products from Dollar General and stuff like that. So I had got into my curly hair, um, but it still wasn't like that curly. My hair actually didn't turn like this curly until like a couple years back. So girl, I try to take care of these curls because I love my curly hair, y'all. I wouldn't trade my curls for nothing. Mm -hmm. They look so good too. Like. The color of your hair plus the curls just makes it so much better. Thank you. So yeah, girl, I say all of that to say that I do love my natural hair. I prefer curls over straight hair any day, which there's nothing wrong with straight hair. I just, on myself, I love my natural curls. Cause baby, growing up, I had like, at first I had like, big ringlet curls when I was born and then that went into like straight wavy so it was like you know straight wavy and super thin and I did not really like that but at least it was a little bit more textured you know what I mean I wanted like them curls so when my curls started coming in I was super excited about that but I just never really like the fact that I was so freaking bright white like I wanted to have like the mixed skin complexion but black comes in all colors little did I know black comes in all colors so there was at one point there was one point where I did not think my mom was my mom really yeah really i want to go over my ends one more time just to make sure that they're doing good but yeah but as you get older and you start to learn more about the spiritual world and more about the devil and demons you get to realize that everything that you were told growing up that you know you're ugly or you're supposed to look like somebody else etc etc it's all a lie anyways the oil is sitting in there now and i'm gonna go ahead and wash it out when i get up in the shower 
What just happened with that? But baby, embrace your hair, embrace who you are, embrace your uniqueness. You were made the way you are for a reason. You are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. All of your features are a blessing, 100% a blessing. Okay, so it is currently 2.51 p.m. And I'm thinking I can leave it in until like, I don't know, we'll see. I didn't forgot to take my dang probiotics, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out the way right now. I usually take the Azo Complete Feminine Balance. These are up on my Amazon storefront as well as the Azo Cranberry Urinary Tract Health. These are both amazing for your feminine health and your overall balance and smell, et cetera, et cetera. These will get you right. I gotta go ahead and make sure I'm taking them daily. Sometimes I forget y'all and like you cannot forget with these. These are like a daily thing to make sure they are building up in your system. Ooh, I don't know why I took all three of them at one time, but I'm just trying to get them out the way. But you also got to get the water intake with them. Like when you take pills, like a lot of people do not know, you have to drink tons of water for them to actually activate and work. So once again, these are my two daily probiotics and supplements that I choose to take for my feminine health and my feminine, feminine, <laughs> feminine balance. Now I got to go ahead and get started on all of this dang laundry when i tell y'all this junk is jam packed in here it is no freaking lie i'm gonna go ahead and sort all of these clothes out from lights to darks to singular clothes i need to go ahead and get washed by themselves underwears delicates etc etc oh my gosh so he just brought out all of the laundry i have so much laundry to do i'm gonna go ahead and sort all of these piles out how i told you guys I'm gonna go ahead and do it. He's being super freaking awkward telling me that my dirty clothes smell good. You're annoying. They do, I'm just saying. Shut the heck up and get to the dang dishes. <laughs> Sitting up sniffing my clothes and junk. I'm just playing. It wasn't intentional. Yeah, I picked up. Yo, they was not working with me. Everything was just falling, falling, falling. Everything was falling out. <laughs> Those are not piles that we made. Facts. These are not any piles that we made. These are not like official piles. This is just random clothes that fell out everywhere. I am working on a dark pile over here. Look at these super cute little um, press on toes I got from Amazon. I'll put these up on my Amazon storefront to make it easy for you guys to go ahead and find them. But they're super cute. They're just little cheap little press ons, $5 and something. But yeah, he's a freaking weirdo. He told me my clothes feel good. <laughs> what? He's sitting up saying. sniffing my clothes. He's sitting up sniffing my clothes. You're trying to make it sound like I'm a weirdo. You are a weirdo. I'm, tr I'm literally trying to make you really sound like a weirdo right now. I really am. He didn't like sniff them. He was just breathing. Exactly. But anyways, I got so much laundry to sort. Let me go ahead and get this junk started. Dishes, boy. I'm doing. I'm just doing what I'm told. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you little fist. Stop playing with me. Don't ever say that again. What? These, your hands are so tiny. These big fists. Put it up to the screen. Okay. Now, of course, it's gonna be big. <laughs> I'm not playing with you. I got all of the laundry all sorted out. I have my light clothes, my dark clothes, my white clothes. Wait, what the heck is this? This ain't white. Oh yeah, that, that's a white shirt. And then over here, I have all of my bras and my underwear. I do not want locket trampling all over my dang clothes. So let me go ahead and get this junk done so she can go ahead and have her space to run around and play. I will get started on the whites first. Get all of those out of the way. This looks like it'll be straight just for one load. So that load will be done pretty darn soon. And then I'll move on to my underwear and stuff like that. And I feel like I could put all of these in one load. Maybe not the dark because those have so many clothes. 
I'm trying to get this done fast. I'm trying to get shortcuts. Hopefully it'll just be four loads, but it's looking like it's going to be five loads because of how much is in the dark. So that's a lot of clothes over there, so. And it's not good to put like a lot of clothes in the washer at one time, stuff it, because it's not really good for it. So we'll see how it works out. I go through and I make sure all of them aren't inside out. Then I just go ahead and put them all in the washer. That was one thing my dad used to get so irritated about growing up because my dad did all the laundry. So he used to be like, just make sure your clothes are not inside out. It would be so much less time consuming. Which is true. And all my clothes seem to be inside out. Gosh, dang, I kind of see what he's talking about. But I mean, I feel like if you get a good little pace down, you'll be all right. And I have literally just as much clothes as our family of seven had. I feel so amazing when all of my laundry is done because I have so many new clothes to choose from. I be forgetting about clothes until they're all clean. And I'm like, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I remember it. Like I literally wore this shirt for the first time recently. Forgot all about it. All right, and that is the white load. I'm gonna go ahead and use two cups of this Arm & Hammer detergent. Let's go ahead and pour that all in there. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar and then some baking soda just to make sure that my whites are staying white. Okay, girl. Bleach actually does the reverse. Sometimes it will make your clothes yellow and who the heck wants yellow whites? But that's not with everything because I do use bleach on my white rugs in my bathroom and it works so good every single time. Bleach is amazing for my rugs, but my clothes and stuff like that, girl. Vinegar and baking soda, all right. This is a regular load. We're gonna use cold water, auto sensing, and the first load is getting done. All I gotta do is wait for the rinse cycle to go ahead and come on, and then I'll put in my fabric softener, and then we'll go on to the next load, and so on and so forth. All right, this has got like a little pillowcase in it. I washed those separately by themselves, so we don't got too much more to go. I mean, it's pretty time consuming. Is that a penny? Oh my gosh. It's pretty time consuming because of course they take time to dry and to wash and stuff like that. Poor little locket. I just don't want her trampling over my clothes and eating them. She's been eating my clothes and my blankets lately. It's kind of getting on my nerves. Oh, a white. She literally goes into my closet and she takes all my socks and my shirts and my pants. But her favorite place to get stuff from is the dirty clothes. And I'm not really sure if it's because it has my scent on it, but she be taking my clothes out of here, y'all. Girl, do I have some tea for you? If you wanna smell like raisins, go ahead and buy this dang lotion. I bought this lotion earlier. It is the Bliss Texture Takedown Skin Smoothing Body Butter. If it works to smooth out my skin, great. But I don't know if I'm even let it get to that point where it actually is able to work because it stinks disgustingly. If you wanna smell like raisins, Miss Lockett is out and about being bad as crap. If you wanna smell like raisins, go ahead and buy this day um, body butter because it stinks terribly and it's a strong stinking smell the only thing that is saving my nose right now is my plugins i'm gonna go ahead and enter a picture up on the screen of my current plugins that are in my room right now they are so strong and they smell so good they're so tropical coconutty and fruity and just beautiful i love them they smell so amazing so i keep smelling those which is great i gotta go ahead and put on some perfume um over this nasty body butter because it stinks so gross on my skin my face is super red because I had to go ahead and get my nighttime skincare done earlier than I usually do. It is way too early for me to have washed out my oil treatment and for me to have done my nighttime skincare routine. But let me tell y'all what happened. A little trial and error. So like I said, there will be trial and error with this whole me getting back into my hair care process. Because when I used to do oil treatments, I had a whole routine. I would oil my scalp. Then I would put, oh, I think I used to braid my hair that's what it was i used to braid my hair and then i used to go ahead and i believe clip it up and then i used to put a trash bag over my hair to make sure the heat was in there and to make sure that the oil wasn't dripping out then i would put a bonnet over it and then i would put a um headband all around here so the oil didn't drip down to my face i'm getting it again I'm getting it again. So unfortunately, I did not do that this time because I haven't done it in so long. Look at my hair, oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't done it in so long. So unfortunately, I forgot to go ahead and do that. And when I came into my bathroom, it was oil on my forehead. And y'all know how I am 
about my skin because my skin breaks out so easily i have acne prone skin and just over the years i've just gotten super paranoid about anything being on my skin so when i tell y'all i ran into the shower i ran in the shower washed the product out as soon as i could i'm washing i'm going i'm going so that i could wash my skin and get the oil off of my skin oh my gosh when i tell y'all i was flipping i was flipping out it was stressing me out giving me anxiety etc etc so yes i couldn't let the oil treatment sit in for too long but i'm doing my hair y'all look at these super cute pajamas my mom bought me they're baby fat pajamas they are so cute she bought me a pink um set and then she also bought me this super cream super cream super cute cream set i'm putting this daily hydration leave-in treatment in my hair it's gonna moisturize and also make my hair smell super good putting that all throughout my hair i used this body butter and then the new deodorant that i just got done using the deodorant smells great it feels great i'm pretty sure it's gonna work great it's the new 72 hour men's and those deodorants work so good but that body butter baby i'm sorry like even if it did make my skin super smooth oh it stank like it stank like mm -mm. that junk smells so gross i'm not even gonna sit up here and lie to y'all but everything happens for a reason because um me getting into the shower it really just cleared my mind i'm not gonna lie since i'm on my menstrual cycle and i have things going on behind the scenes stuff is trying to stress me out and i'm not gonna lie i have been pretty anxious today and a little bit stressed out and it's not the way to live so that shower really did help me and it helped me to calm my nerves and help me to have some time alone and also some time with the lord jesus christ my cream of choice is going to be the carol's daughter goddess strength divine strength leave in cream i've always wanted to try this i just never really bought it if that makes sense but yeah girl <laughs> Do not buy that dang uh, body butters because <laughs> no. But if my face is super red, like I said, I just got done doing my skincare and y'all know my face gets super. Ooh, these both smell amazing. My face gets super red just from touching it. I put some fabric softener. Three. <laughs> what you doing, girl? She's so cute. I put three cups of <laughs> three cups of Suavitel. She always stands right next to me like a little baby. Um, three cups of Suavitel fabric softener in um, on the rinse cycle of the white clothing, the whites in my laundry. So those are getting ready to go ahead and get in the dryer. And then I'm going to go ahead and put all of my underwear and bras and stuff in. I'm going to make this super simple and quick meal. And that should be the end of everything that I had to go ahead and get done today. Not too productive pretty chill day um but it's crazy how like you would never know how somebody is feeling behind the scenes oh hold on i also gotta go ahead and share with you guys look at the difference i also gotta go ahead and share with you guys those perfumes that i bought earlier at tj maxx i actually already went ahead and opened them and when i tell y'all one of them stinks so bad and the other one i'm already pretty familiar with so pretty good but i'm kind of spoiling it because as y'all know i bought that glow by j-lo um fragrance mist at walmart and i told y'all that i bought the perfume earlier oh <sighs> that stinks disgustingly so there's your spoiler glow by j-lo stinks so gross and i had heard great things about it and it's nasty but the body spray don't smell as bad so i'm not too mad about the body spray purchase but baby that perfume girl that's $24.99 <laughs> y'all can shove that up y'all but it ain't no good deal so yeah the shower was very relaxing it was very amazing gave me time to go ahead and like recoup get my mind back on because baby life ain't easy especially when you're trying to fight the good fight and you are fighting spiritually and you're aware of what's going on man show ain't easy because the devil was out here to steal kill and destroy he want to steal everything good you got going for you he want to kill you he wants to destroy your mind because once he has your mind he's got everything else baby hair is smelling good it feels very soft it feels very moisturized i'm feeling good i'm gonna go ahead and put on some perfume and some lip gloss or some chapstick all right and let me go grab these perfumes for y'all <laughs> get out my trash girl here we are so we have the good fragrance which i've been through literally two to three bottles of this like it's so refreshing clean citrusy laundry like and girl this is my first time buying this disgusting if you ever see glow by j-lo this is so nasty cannot stand it throw it throw it throw it away i'm just kidding i really shouldn't say it stinks or it smells nasty because i'm gonna have to go ahead and give it away and like what if the person is like oh it's not it's gross i'm like no if you like it you can have it you know 
I spent $24.99 on this fragrance and it was a waste of money. But this is the Tommy Girl fragrance. If you guys are looking for a super fresh, breezy, laundry, citrusy kind of smell, girl, this is going to be your girl. This was $24.99 at TJ Maxx. You can also find it for a very good price on FragranceNet.com where I get a lot of my fragrances. And girl, you're going to be right. I'm going to go ahead and use this as my fragrance of the night, I guess, because I mean, it's like four... Is it like 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock? I'm not really sure. I use that as my fragrance of the day slash night. Oh, girl, this stuff is strong. You, ooh, my nose burning. It's that strong. I can hear that the whites are all done. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the dryer, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on all of my underwear and bras. And then get started on this super simple meal and also go over some notes that I took from a sermon with you guys. Dryer time. These smell so good, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fabric softener that I used. Suavitel Complete smells amazing, very affordable because y'all know I love for my clothes to smell good. But I have been cutting corners some ways, like not cutting corners, but like being cheaper. So I've been buying cheaper laundry products and I don't know what kind of stain that is right there, but baby, this is a big old yellow stain right there. What the heck did I do to this shirt? Oh my goodness, y'all look at that. Okay. So I've been buying cheaper laundry products and also using less of the laundry products just to go ahead and save a little money here and there so I can save more money for shopping. I'm just playing, but no, I'm not. All right. Now for my underwear, you guys know how serious I am about using the right detergent for my underwear. I don't like just using any kind of detergent that will irritate me and knock my pH balance off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I like to use. I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but we're gonna go over it again. I used to use the Baby Dreft detergent like all the time. I have like a little bit left, but it's way more expensive than what I am getting ready to go ahead and show you guys. And this works just as freaking good. So this is the Tide Free and Clear. This has zero fragrance, zero dyes, anything of the sort that could possibly irritate you. So I go ahead and use this for my underclothing, for my underwear, for no irritation. One cup is just fine. And baby, we good to go. Delicate, cold, great, good to go. I'm gonna put all my lights in the basket for the next load. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make one of them super simple cheap meals. I bought the other day, we went grocery shopping and I bought these two bags of food. Which one do you want? So we have this one, which is the chicken fried rice. And then we have this one, sorry, thank you. <laughs> which is the chicken bacon ranch mac and cheese skillet. This is kind of sound like hidden right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, it sounds really good. I want this one. Okay, let's go with that. But I'm gonna make the one that you want because I asked you. I want this, I want this. No, 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 I want this. <laughs> I know you, stop playing with me. You can't manipulate me. You can't manipulate me. No, I, I really do. Like, like I'm serious, I'm Aww. serious, I really do. No, I'm for real. What? I actually want that one. You want this one? Be quiet. I'm not no, stupid. I know I you. Joking. Like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of my notes from a sermon I watched. And the sermon was about dreaming, having dreams. So let's go over my notes. The first point says, we were created to dream. When you stop dreaming, you just simply exist. Dreams motivate us. Dreams give us energy for life. This is the sauce packet, y'all. It looks so weird, but... Is how you make it. When you stop dreaming and looking forward to the future, you're just a zombie living. Your heart lives on dreams. Never allow circumstances to change your mind on what God told you or what God put in your heart. Time doesn't matter. Every dream faces the frustration of delay. Delay is not denial. Don't give up because it's taking time. Believing is my job and the outcome is God's job. The world crushes dreams be apart from the world dreams require persistence do not let the dream stealer destroy your dreams dreams drive your life a little bit of water but y'all those notes are so powerful because when we don't have a dream for our life and we don't have goals, we don't really have much motivation and energy and anything to work towards or anything that is kind of driving our life in a good direction. So 
if you have a dream and you feel that your dream is just too big or you feel like you cannot accomplish that dream or you get overwhelmed just thinking about that dream one step at a time every dream requires persistence and every dream requires patience i randomly came across these notes recently and it really just reminded me just to keep hold of my dream and never give up on my dreams and to never allow circumstances to change my mind on what the Lord Jesus Christ told me and what he put in my heart. Recently, I'm sure as you guys know, I went through, you know, a very big time of testing and trial and I didn't really care about my dreams. I didn't really care about everything that I've worked towards. So in the moment, I did allow circumstances to change my mind on what the Lord Jesus Christ promised me and, and, and what he told me I will have one day and who I will be one day and what he's also put in my heart. Since that really hit home for me, I wanted to just go ahead and share those notes with you guys. These aren't any notes that I came up with. It's all from a sermon I believe I watched on Above Inspiration. And I have so many more notes in here I want to go ahead and start sharing because when I tell y'all, there are so many good, cool things in here um, to share that I'm going to go ahead and start sharing. But that was the page on dreaming. Now listen, when you get done hearing the word of God, always expect for these demons to throw something at you, a distraction at you, so you don't truly receive it and so you're not able to truly apply it. There's a very big difference between hearing or reading the word of God and applying the word of God. Now, I always say this, as I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself because I could get out of an amazing session of time with God and then something is thrown at me, something is said, something happens and now I'm, distract I'm distracted and I'm all upset and I didn't truly receive that word and I wasn't able to truly, you know, apply it. So. It's something that I believe um, majority of us Christians have to work on because they attack you 10 times harder when you are truly trying to change and you are receiving what they don't want you to receive. They don't like anything truthful. Okay, so when we read the truth or come across the truth, they are trying to destroy you. They are going to do everything they possibly can to steal your joy, your peace, the word that you just got done receiving. So it's really up to us to recognize and fight. And like I said, as I preach to you, I'm preaching to myself because man, it's a battle. I struggle as well with that. So we gotta expect that when we receive that word or when we hear that word and we just get done having that amazing Bible study session or that amazing worship session, we gotta fight right after that. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about that real quick because dreams are so important. But also hearing that, I know it's gonna motivate a lot of people and it's going to inspire a lot of people to chase their dreams. So these demons are lurking and they're watching. They don't want you to accomplish that and they don't want you to get to that. If we are getting ready to go ahead and start working harder towards our dreams and praying harder about our dreams, we also have to expect to be attacked harder because they don't want us to get to those things. And with the Lord Jesus Christ, we can get to anything. We can be whoever we want to be. And that also reminds me to remind you guys to pray small and bold prayers. Now, the small may be a little bit confusing because it's like, girl, what are you talking about? Small as in something little as this. My mom has been working on her dressing slash filming room and it's a lot of stuff in there. She finally got it done. But every single day she's like, man, I got to get this dang room done. She's working towards it slowly, slowly, but it kind of overwhelms her. So I told her, pray for motivation. It's something as small as that. The Lord cares about it. Pray for a parking spot. Something small as that. The Lord cares about. He cares about those little things. Okay. But also pray those bold prayers. Big, bold prayers that seem impossible to others. But we know that our God can do the impossible. The Lord Jesus Christ is known for working the impossible. Okay. He is known for doing the impossible. So we can pray them small prayers. And we can pray them super bold prayers. So pray about your dreams. It's not impossible, baby. You can do it. With the Lord Jesus Christ, help and guidance, we can get there. Pray bold prayers. Dare to pray bold prayers. Woo! It's getting done. It's getting done. They said put a half cup of water, but I did, and it looked like it's too much water. <laughs> I'm being serious. That don't look like too much water to you. It lucky kind of do look kind of overflowed. Ooh, that ain't good, baby. What we gonna do? I'm gonna have to put some cheese up in there because it's watery. But it's a good amount of food, so I'm happy about that. Because I believe that was only like $10. I'm not really sure. Where's my cheese at, boy? Alrighty, let me add this cheese in there. Hopefully that'll help it. Because, baby, this ain't it. This ain't it, all this dang water. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good, though. Good. Hopefully this cheese melts in there real nice. 
That food looking mighty good, but I tell you, you smell so good. I will say that right now. What's what's going on? What? Lock it. What the heck? What is wrong? Right? My name like that. Thank you, baby. What in the world? I don't know. I can't control her. I don't have time to be sitting up yelling at a dog all day. I don't have time. I just let her do what she needs to do because who has time to be yelling at a dog all day? Not me. Not me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let Lockie live her best life at this point. Anyways, I'm adding a little bit of accent just for a little extra flavor. Man, I tell you what, I know that I'm under attack, but like anxiety and like stress has been trying to creep up on me all day. And like, it just makes me feel like I did so terrible today. You did amazing too. Thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. I almost missed the dang rinse cycle, y'all. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I never put fabric softener in my underwear. Them gotta keep going. I don't put fabric. Oh, oh snaps. I'm so glad that I caught that. I do not put fabric softener in my underwear. That oh man, a waste of fabric softener. What am I talking about? I do not put fabric softener in my underwear. The fragrance is just not needed. So actually, I don't care about the rinse cycle. Keep on going, baby. We don't need no fabric softener. Dude, I'm so glad that I caught that. Because you literally screamed. You was like the rinse cycle. I was like the rinse cycle. <laughs> Let's try this food. Let's get it. See what it tastes like. Give a little review. You get the first bite. Let's see. Why are you over there, baby? Uh, let me go around over there. They gotta see you. Let me get some screen time. Facts. I've been in like every scene, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, huh? It looks so good. Ooh, you trying it already? Don't let that bowl spill, boy. It's good. It's good. Oh my gosh, it's really good. It's good. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. And it's crazy how I can even eat broccoli like this now. Before I would have threw up. You know dang why I put you on a broccoli. Don't give them all the credit. I put this boy on to vegetables, seafood, potatoes, certain sauces. He would never eat that junk before. It's not true. I'm mm -hmm. not <laughs> the biggest accomplishment is I'm able to eat potatoes now. Like whenever she made me potatoes, I was able to just scarf them down. Any what? other time I would have threw up. What did you eat this morning? Oh, I had some potatoes. He ate breakfast potatoes and sausage mm. patties. I ate them like it was nothing. Them potatoes were good. I make them very crispy though because I like them that way and he also eats them that way. He still yeah. don't like them too mushy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he ate a twice baked potato recently. And we all know twice baked potato has mashed potatoes in it. Get off my dang couch. You ain't listening. See, you testing it. She jumped off. Get your butt down. Like I was saying, because Miss Lockett would be bad. We all know that twice baked potatoes have mashed potatoes in the inside. And he cannot eat anything mushy. So actually, you did a really good job on that one. Thank you. It tasted really good. Like, I was actually able to eat it. I, I was so excited whenever I was actually, like, chopping it down. And he ate two like, of them. Yeah. I was like, wow. This I is ate, crazy. I mean, I made fried pork chops and then double baked potatoes. Girl, he smashed them. But any other, like potatoes I make I try to make them as crispy as possible because I like them that way and then it's also easier for him to eat that so he ate his potatoes very good this morning thank you they tasted really good you ate your potatoes so good with your baby mm. this is good it's easy cheap meal mm -hmm. I ain't got a clue now I know this is really bad but I rarely ever fold my clothes as soon as they get out of the dryer I don't know what it is about me being super lazy with like folding them as soon as they get out but I put them in a trash bag and they get a little wrinkly and I know it's not the best but I do it so yes I will be putting all my clean laundry in trash bags if I had more dresser spray dresser space then I would fold them and put them away but I don't have like any space for my clothes to go so I just keep them in trash bags and then I pick out my clothes and you know girl do you yeah if it works it works when I get older I feel like I'm gonna look back and be like oh my gosh that's so cringe like just fold them <laughs> this meal is so good you guys and the cheese was just an extra pizzazz what is dog up on here on your bed like that I was on the phone with my mom and she jumped on my freaking bed so what can I do I don't know. She like, looked a little too comfortable she on you. She's so comfortable. <laughs> she does, I don't know. Don't I have been doing less and less discipline with her because, like, I don't know. Like, she just be getting away with stuff nowadays. I mean, dogs don't really live that long. I, and, that's you know. literally, that's literally, like, my theory or whatever the heck. I'm like, Is dogs it? don't really live too long. I'm probably not going to have another dog after her. So it's kind of just, like, literally her life. I still get on her, y'all. I still be on her butt. But Locket, I don't know. She just, she got my heart. That's my baby. <laughs> I miss this locket though. I love my locket, but I miss this locket. Oh uh, yeah, look at the difference. Oh my gosh. 
But I'm not gonna lie, I also really love this look as well. Me too, I really do. Like, what the heck? This actually fits her. I know, it kinda does. They're my widow, 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 widow. She probably likes it better too because she has like zoomies now. Yeah, she knows how to get up on my bed now and like, she's stubborn. And that's literally how I can describe Lockett, is she's stubborn. Yeah. But she's smart and stubborn. You look really cute in those. Thank you. I've never seen you wear Thank that. Thank you so much. My mom just bought these for me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, no wonder. Baby hey, I be, I be knowing what she wears, y'all. He always knows when there's a new outfit, some kind of new fragrance he's never smelled before. He always knows everything. He be Come really on. paying attention. Come that's on, how I know you love me. You show me. I do. I love you a lot. I love you too. She looks like she's ready for bed. I'm not gonna lie. She does look like she's she was like a limp. Mm-hmm. I love when she's more limp, like not like limp, but like I love when her like all her weight is just and she there. Just give it to you. Like she's kind of like dead weight because she feels like a little sweet baby. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm a baby. I can hold it like a baby. She I likes know. being held like that by you. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. And her biggest fan, you already know. Her biggest fan is Brent, y'all. My yes. brother is her biggest fan. She's his biggest fan. They love each other. They really do. I don't whenever, understand. Whenever he walks in the door, her legs be on wiggle mode to the Dude, max. Like, it's she crazy. loves her Uncle Brent. This is your shirt, boy. Take your shirt. Ooh, thank you for watching this. Lockie, get off my shirt. clean clothes. Maybe oh, you're the reason girl. why I don't fold clothes. Get away. <laughs> I'm trying to fold this dang bag of clothes, girl. Seriously, on, girl. stop. Y'all, I'm folding some clothes. They smell so fresh and clean. Mmm, they smell so good. Love me some clean clothes. It's one of the most satisfying things in the world. Okay, I just asked you to, girl. Girl. Stop! Wow, these clothes are extra white. Maybe I put a little extra vinegar and baking soda this time because they are looking bright, bright. And it could also be that Arm & Hammer. Ooh, I might have to start using Arm & Hammer more, y'all. I don't never use no Arm & Hammer, but I recently bought some because I was like, you know, it was really affordable. And um, it smelled pretty nice. And I've heard great things about Arm & Hammer. But when I tell y'all it's got my whites like super white, like that is so freaking dope. I love that. We love that, girl. We love that. But I will say, remember that when you are spraying your body spray or your perfume on your white clothing, make sure that body spray or that perfume isn't tinted. Because my first day at Driver's Egg, girl, I wore a Forever Red on my white t-shirt. And girl, my whole entire t-shirt was red. And I didn't notice till I got there. And your parent has to sit with you in the beginning of the class on the first day. And I was like, mom, mom. I'm like complaining to her the whole entire time. And the kids are looking at me like, oh, this girl's like a mommy's girl. Like, what's wrong with her? I'm like, I ain't got no shame, mom. My shirt. She's like, baby, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. It don't even look that bad. I'm like, it does though. Anyways, that bag was a super simple and easy bag to go ahead and fold because, girl, it's almost done. I don't know why I don't be folding my clothes. It's just the laziness. So this one, this shirt has a huge stain on it. Go ahead and throw this junk away. I ain't got time to be sitting up playing games. I ain't got time to get upset. I just throw the whole dang shirt away. All right, empty trash bag, ready for the next load. Y'all, look how cute it turned out. If you watched my recent video, you already know what I'm talking about. But when I tell y'all I am loving this vibe, girl, this is so cute. And then over here, I have this cute little wooden bowl with these little garland beads with the little tassels on the bottom. Ah, and a candle in the middle. It's so cute. My home is coming together. Now, the only thing is, is I am not trying to go through the hassle and the money redoing my whole entire living room. But I'm not the biggest fan of my living room. I really want my whole entire home to be themed like this like how my kitchen is like that kind of theme my kitchen kind of theme but it's really just not giving that but it was very affordable and what they had in the stores you know at that time but I'm trying to figure out how the heck I can get these kind of decorations like incorporate these kind of decorations with these decorations to not make it look so tacky and like not cute I'm thinking these have to come down and I can get some different wall decor, a different rug, coffee table, different pillows. That's the whole entire living room. Okay. I would literally have to redo the whole entire living room to get it how I want it. I guess it is what it is. Well, I think your living room looks amazing. What the heck? You are so <laughs> Rinse cycle time. I've already put one cup of fabric softener in there. Two. And I'm gonna do pho. I'm gonna do pho. I love my clothes to smell super strong. All right. And then after this load, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of the darts in the washer and that will be our last load. And girl, when we done with that, ooh, when I tell y'all I'm finna chillax cause it is already 
two at night. Girl, what is happening right now? The day has just flown away. All right, now we get to go ahead and get started on the last load. These smell amazing those in the dryer make sure you guys are changing out your dryer filter get all that fuzzy stuff off of there it's very dangerous if you do not do so i'm gonna go ahead and load all of these dark clothes into the washer me and my youngest niece had matching halloween um pajamas a couple weeks back oh my gosh y'all we was looking so cute i had a cute little sleepover with her i bought us some matching jammies i bought her a bunch of snacks and we kind of just like chilled and laid around and just had some fun. and put about two and a half cups in here because this is a pretty darn big load and I want them to be super clean and smelling good as well two and a half this is going to be a pretty bulky and heavy load so heavy cold auto sensing and we are good to go you guys now I get to put a nice empty hamper in my room y'all oh I never took the tag off what's going on girl Stuff is getting done, y'all. Stuff is getting done. Ooh, that looks so nice. All right, everybody. So it is now time for your girls to go ahead and officially head out of here. Um, the heck is y'all doing? This ain't no day. This ain't no day, family reunion. Reunion. It feels so comfortable in here. Hold on. Before I go ahead and head out of here, I just wanted to go ahead and quickly say that if you draw near to Christ, then he will draw near to you. Now, the question is, is how do we draw near to Christ? We draw near to Christ by spending time with him, um, reading his word, meditating on his word, praising and worshiping, um, praying, holding conversations with him all throughout the day, talking to him about little things, big things, everything. That is how you draw near to Christ, by giving him that time. Now, I know a lot of us struggle with being consistent in spending time with him. And the reason why you're struggling to be consistent is these demons are fighting heavily against you to spend time with him. Because time with Christ is going to benefit you spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, in every aspect of your life. Spending time with Christ and drawing near to him as he draws near to you is going to benefit you and be the best thing that ever happens to you in, in your life. So, of course, these demons are going to throw everything at you to get you to not be consistent in his word and to get you to not spend time with him. And I have a, uh, a highlight in this book that I'm currently reading. It's called Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. And it says, why is the simplest, best thing for our souls, long-term health, so crazy difficult to do? I'll tell you. Because real, connected, intimate time with Jesus is the very thing that grows our faith. And I always tell people, faith in Jesus Christ is guaranteed. If you have faith that he is going to do something for you, he will do it for you. It shifts our minds. Mental is very important because whatever we think about comes out in our life. Brings about revival in our souls and compels us to share Jesus with others. People need that. It's where the spiral stops. And the spiral in this book is the spiral of negative thoughts. The downward spiral of how of where thoughts can take you and where they lead. Um, but to put it plainly, all hell is against us meeting with Jesus. They'll tell us we don't have enough time. Any little thing that they can put in the way to... Um, get us from not spending time with Christ, they will do so. So it's up to us to recognize that that is what we need and they don't want us to have that. So any little reasoning you could possibly come up in your head with why you don't need to spend time with Christ today, no, that is not true. We all need time with Christ. We all need it. The world needs more of Jesus. And if we all met with God intimately and truly every single day, the world would be a much better place. So I just want to go ahead and encourage you guys to go ahead and draw near to Christ because it's guaranteed he's going to draw near to you. And he draws closer, okay, than you could ever get. He is there for us like nobody else can be. And having an amazing, strong, intimate relationship with Christ is the most important thing we can have in life. So of course these demons do not want us to have that. So whatever they can throw in the way, temptation, 
of sin, bad friends, toxic friends, bad understanding, like a fuzzy understanding of Jesus' love, whatever the heck they can throw in the way. I don't need to go too far into it because we could go on and go on and go on and go on. Spend time with Christ, draw near to Christ, be apart from the world, do not be a slave to sin. Realize that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Realize that these demons are after you to stop you from having any true happiness, any true success, anything of the sort. And one way they are getting a lot of people to not have a true relationship with Christ or have any true progress in life is sin. We all have particular sins that we struggle with the most. And little do we know that they're studying us and they've studied the people years and hundreds of years before us. So they know exactly what to say to get us to fall, but we are stronger than that. Stop letting them steal your life from you. Stop letting them take your joy, peace, and happiness by staying in the cycle of sin. Resist the devil and he shall flee, the Bible says. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Jordan. She was sweeping. Now let me tell you something, y'all. We all fall short. We all fall short. We all sin. But I think you guys know about the cycle of sin that a lot of us Christians are stuck in. And I want to go ahead and say us because I don't want to, you know, have anybody feeling like I'm preaching at them or judging them. I want to say us because we've all struggled, we've all felt short, and we've all been in that cycle of sin where we feel that we're not strong enough to conquer that sin. Um, so it's kind of just like we, we stay in sin because it's kind of just like we're not strong enough to conquer it. So if we're not strong enough to conquer it, why do it and then repent and then ask for forgiveness and, and, and try to get back on our right feet when we know we're just going to keep falling. Terrible mindset, terrible way of thinking. Listen to the Holy Spirit and not your flesh and we got to keep moving. Draw near to Christ and he will draw near to you. So... With that being said, realize they are here to steal, kill, and destroy. They hate you. They want nothing good to come out of your life. They want everything good that could be going on or happening in your life. They want to take it. They want to steal it. They want to destroy you. They want to break you down. They want you dead. That is not of Christ. Any confusion, any fear, any doubt, that is of the devil. That is not of Christ. Realize who's present and fight because that's all we can do. None of us are perfect. None of us will be perfect. We're all going to fall short. We're all going to make mistakes. But I think y'all get what I'm saying. So with that being said, it's time for you girl to go ahead and head up out of here. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for me to go. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Bye, guys.